Hello everyone. Have you heard of the terms subscription service, subscription economy, subscription model, and like that? It's a business model that regularly delivers personalized product or services through big data analysis or AI. When consumers provide detailed taste information online and pay a certain amount each month. In the beginning, it started to grow around live flander services such as Netflix, music streaming, and regular delivery of daily necessities. And recently, various subscription models such as expense clothing or car renter, regular delivery of flour and nutrition products and insurance have emerged. Especially after COVID-19, it has been spreading as part of the untapped business. In Korea, 90% of all respondents already use one or more subscription services. In the United States, half of online users have subscribed. Although it has been centered on small and medium-sized venture companies and service companies, until now, manufacturers and large companies which were burdened by offline sales networks are expected to participate as online subscription models using delivery network in the post-corona era. So what is the background of this rapid growth of subscription services? And what is the basis for further leap forward in the post-corona era? First, it's a reluctance to buy and own products with a lot of money amid the long slump. So they wanted to use as long as necessary or use and return a shared mother. But since COVID-19, people have been reluctant to use shared models such as Airbnb. Because it even bothers to share a stranger's stuff or room like Airbnb. Now people are beginning to look for quick alternatives for companies to solve their needs on the spot. The second reason is stable income generation for companies. Currently, businesses are that are difficult to provide in the form of subscription due to their product characteristics are also generating profits by switching to subscription models one after another. Most subscription services provide customized services based on the specific profiles and taste information obtained when signing up. In addition, companies continuously update the customer's sales data and reflect it in the next product configuration, just like YouTube's initial page, which continuously increases the accuracy of customization. Of course, they use big data and artificial intelligence. For example, we will be a regular delivery company for children's clothing and send clothes as they adjust their measurements as the child grows. Trunk Club, a regular men's clothing carrier, uh, coordinates and delivers clothes that suit the customer's style. If the customer takes a picture of the closet with the camera. After all, it's a difficult for customers to leave the company if they sign up uh, as members. In the post-corona era, where cost savings have become important, companies save money on creating new customers and maintaining existing customers. Let's take a look at some interesting subscription services for finding out the reason why the subscription model will be in the spotlight in the post-corona era and for benchmark points that will have current offline operators. It's a regular subscription model that delivers handmade beer for 7,500 yen a month. The company provides its members with tapered red beer containers and delivers Dread beer twice a month in a plastic bottle. You can also adjust uh, the delivery date and time with the smartphone application. You can skip it for about a month or place additional orders. By the way, that uh, beer is sensitive to direct sunlight and temperature. So how can I keep the taste? The inside of the plastic bottle is coated with the carbon film to prevent gas loss and the separate plastic bottle is left developed to allow the butter body to block light in transparent colors. Korean beer is famous for its bad taste, but it's said to be second only to imported beer when drunk at the beer factory. Then how about the service that delivers Korean beer to your home, just like the taste of the brewery? 
order more than three items from Amazon site, try on the delivered item for three, seven days, put a return tag on the items you don't like, record then uh, automatically pay for clothes that are not returned. In other words, people can try Calvin Klein, Hugo Boss, Levi's, and Adidas at home and they buy them if they like them. In fact, people can experience offline feeding rooms through Amazon. Uh, many media say Amazon is nailing the crown cap of the US department store. Select the five frames of glasses online, free delivery, try them for five days. Select for one frame and enter the distance between the sight and eyes. Return all five frames for free. The company will put in a lens and send them again for free. The price was uh, cut by one fifth by eliminating the middle dis uh, distribution. The recently uh, opened uh, offline store is designed to complement online purchases. They show glasses frames to potential online customers and measure the distance between their eyes and eyes and store them as online data. Recently, you can put glasses on, on your face in a smartphone application using virtual reality technology. Ships underwear to online members who pay for $40 a month. You know, originally women's underwear was recognized as the most difficult item to sell online due to the importance of wearing. But how did they solve this problem? The secret lies in the meticulous survey of the membership. In other words, after the company has secured data on style that customers want and fit, uh, AI makes perfect customization. In addition, the company prepared various, various sizes of products then offline and enhanced the customization. The third of the company sales come from variety of sizes not offered by other brands. Due to the COVID-19, guns t and tissues are sold out in the USA rather than masks. In the post-corona era, subscription services for daily necessities such as toilet paper are expected to be in the spotlight. It's cost-effective to use a company's subscription service rather than pay for delivery when people buy small items. And a subscription period can be set uh, differently for each product, such as toothpaste every month and uh, detergent every three months. It's about time. Let me tell you about strategic implications on subscription model. What are the keywords for the customer value of the subscription model? Convenient, non-face-to-face -face buying, low cost, customizing. What's the corporate value of the subscription model? The answer is maintain uh, stable customers reduce customer or securing customers and increase customer satisfaction. In the post-corona era, which of the following is a practical way to buy? First, I buy many brands online, like now. Second, I leave it up to a company to deliver the personal items that fit my face to taste regularly. Anyway, once the subscription model is established across the industry, People will have less to go to the store. If you visit offline, it will be an online support store run by a subscription service company rather than a retail store. In other words, uh, isn't it an online product experience center or a place to measure visions or body type information? If you are currently doing offline business or considering new business items, why don't you refer to the various methods of sub subscription? Especially, I hope you consider these key points of the subscription model. A second case of post-corona that I sent you today following the last virtual experience, was it helpful? If it was helpful, would you press the subscribe button on the button right? I'll visit you for the third time next week. Bye!